Tonight, the twin moons, Ahura and Menyi, move toward the full phase, ending their 26-year cycle. While whimsical on a normal day, in Matab, the magical aura of the moons forbids spellcasting, forcing wizards to rely on previously enchanted artifacts. This year, the Academy of Dars Kana was full of uncanny accidents that compelled the chief magic chamber to launch a full-fledged investigation. Chief Inspector Sabir has had his crew quarters in the Academy for months now, looking for irregularities. As Matab comes to a close, all Academy prefects are sent to hand out protective amulets to negate some effects of the lunar tides of magic. Hello, uh, <clears throat> ladies. I've got your protective amulets. Oh, can I have a look? <laughs> Thanks. I was told to deliver them in person and not to let people pick and choose. Come on, Caspar. What's the worst that could happen? No one needs to know. <sighs> Yasmin, the look that he gave you. Oh, I'm sure it was nothing. <laughs> So, Milica, which one do you like better? Well, the green one goes better with my eyes, so... Dang, I'm gonna be late. Here, take this. Happy birthday, sis! I left a little surprise for you in my closet. See you later. But where are you going? I really need to go now. Bye! I swear, she's such a dunce sometimes. did Yasmin smuggle you here? Don't be afraid, little one. Hey, don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. He's entangled himself with flaming wires. I have to be gentle. There you are! So, you want to play hide-and-seek, huh? What do you want to play now, little one? <laughs> sure, let's dance. You've got some nice moves.
That's impressive. I knew we'd hit it off. Aren't you the cutest one? Ah! What was that? Something happened in the courtyard. No, that's where Yasmin was heading to. I have to check up on her. Was that? to the shelter! This is not a drill! Buddy, Rodent, 
Leave me be! Sir, you have to get off the bridge! What? By Ahura and Mainyu. Are you all right, Chief Inspector? Do I look all right? Don't just stand there. Get me out of here! Just hang in there. I'll figure something out. On tight. I'm getting you out of there. Now, jump! Well, I guess I should thank you now. Couldn't do that without this little fella. This little fellow of yours is an unregistered flame moonling. You are in serious trouble, lady. Who did you get it from? Talk! I... Uh, I don't... Ah! Another explosion. Ahura's cube should replicate it, at least for a while. Stay here. I'll deal with you later. Like hell I'm staying. I have to find Yasmin. <sighs> Professor Azar? What's happening? Belica, don't come any closer. The Arkstone is collapsing. Keep everyone away. I must focus on the incantations. Melika! Over here! Thank the moons. She's all right. All right. I have a small shrub dilemma, sis. Would you lend me a hand, please? Ugh, you and your sense of humor, sis. I wanted to help Professor Azar, but as soon as I found the safety key, the vines went haywire. I'll figure a way to get you out. Thanks, Melika. I sincerely thought I was gonna get strangled by those vines. So, how do you like that guy? 
The one you never told me about? I... Eh, it's complicated. Besides, he didn't show up. Hopefully it's because he's working late and not because he's injured. Don't worry. I'm sure he's alright. You've got to tell me everything later, okay? Now, let's help Professor Azar. How do you like my gift, Melika? Isn't it the cutest creature ever? I can't deny it's cute, but how did you even get it? The Chief Inspector almost flipped when he saw me with this moonling. It's supposed to be registered. Do you know anything about it? A simple thank you would do just fine. How is that my fault now? Are you alright? The explosion didn't hurt you. I'm a little fuzzy, but other than that, I'm fine. I was so worried. Besides, Dad would have killed me if something had happened to you. I have no idea what might have caused such a strong energy blast. Neither do I. But we have to help Professor Azar deal with this crisis. That storm catcher is incomplete. Look what I found! Come on, sis! We've got some lightning to catch! to produce lightning. 
Clever, I admit. Professor Azar, how can we assist you? Since you're here, you can help me reassemble all the floating pieces. I'll try to contain the excess energy. Hold on to something! Quite an achievement. I couldn't have done that without your help, Melika. That doesn't seem right. What's happening to me? Melika, help me! Yasmin! No! Ah! My head. What? time is it? What's going on out there? You're interrupting an official investigation, Dahaka. Mind the consequences. I'm placing her under arrest until all this mess is cleared up. Melika needs rest. If you want to ask questions, I'm here for you. Yasmin, that necklace... What happened to you, little sis? Already on your feet? You shouldn't stress yourself too much. <sighs> I can't just hit the hay and relax while Yasmin might be in danger. All right, point taken. Just don't leave the infirmary for a while. The chief inspector's grouchy as ever. What happened out there, Professor? What caused the Arkstone to collapse, and where's my sister? Answers to those questions still elude me. Even in Mathab, such an overflow of raw magical power is uncanny. But even though it's magical, the Arkstone is just a tool and tools tend to break. I'm more concerned about your sister. Was there anything unusual about her behavior lately? I don't think so. She had a meeting with someone whom she forgot to mention, but other than that, she was her usual self. And now all that's left of her is the amulet. Do you have it in here? Yes, someone brought it with my stuff. You should examine it thoroughly. Maybe there are some clues, something to start with. In the meantime, I'll keep the Chief Inspector occupied. Professor, how did I end up in here? My memory is hazy. I vaguely remember a large chunk of the Arkstone closing in on me. Remember that wand we used to reassemble the Arkstone? I overloaded it to slow down the falling debris. Sabir's henchmen barely made it on time. They used their artifacts to put remains of the tower in stasis. Luckily, we got everyone out of there. Not everyone. Right. We will find your sister, Melika. The Chief Inspector. It's been months since he arrived, and so far, his investigation has not yielded any results. How can I trust in his ability to find my sister? Hmm, as an educator, I probably shouldn't criticize, but I expect him to be more of a hindrance than help. Ultimately, finding your sister may well rest on our shoulders. Yes, 
Assessment's necklace. I should take a closer look. Caspar? With another amulet? Where is he heading to? Any luck? Looks like someone fiddled with that amulet. There's a Magicka-infused spell crystal inside. That's odd. Those amulets were prepared long before the full moons. Use infirmary tools to dismantle it and take a closer look. crystal comes from our repository. <laughs> Professor Azar, this spell crystal bears the emblem of the Academy repository. Why well, that's... could it be an inside job? Each loan should be registered in the repository ledger with a name on it. Let's go and... No one leaves this place until all my questions are answered. <sighs> Fine then. Student interrogation is a very delicate issue. We'll have to fill out quite a few papers, my dear inspector. Melika will stay here and wait for us. Isn't that right, my dear? Of course, Professor. I'm still a little hazy. This way, Inspector. I should make the best out of this opportunity. The repository. I wonder how... There's nothing of use inside, sir. Only books, drawings, and other silly doodads. Get over here, Sergeant. We'll have to assess the damage by hand before the Chief Inspector shows up. I'd better keep out of their sight. That's a lot of pockets.
when did they install the beholder? Prove that you are a human being. You gotta be kidding me. You may pass. I should take a look at the ledger. Hopefully, I'll find some clues. How am I going to get up there? Portation, spell stones, the arc stone, definitely connected to today's events. I can't see anything but a single letter. It's better than nothing. I'm gonna find you, Kay. Menagerie. That's not too far from here. I'll better check it out. Now, where are those books? Stop right there. Running away in the middle of an investigation, are we? You were a suspect before, but now I'm certain. This ends here. Look out! Do you take me for a fool? I won't- ah! Quickly, do something! Hold your breath. <laughs> it's still standing. I have to keep my head down. Like it's blinded and follows loud sounds.
went better than I expected. That's the office. Books mentioned in the ledger should be inside. Whoa! I think I could use that to get rid of the manticore. Crossed. Oh, that should do it. Now let's hope I'll find some answers inside. This must be Caspar's place. Hmm. There's nothing out of the ordinary, though. Uh, huh? What was that? to your friend. Please let me out, mighty pet master. I... Huh? You're no pet master. Who are you? Clearly, I'm not Caspar. Sentient creatures are not supposed to be held in cages. What are you? Creature? I'm deeply hurt by your mean words. I'm Batak, a humble collector of shinies. <laughs> sure you are, buddy. I'm just gonna go over there. W wait, I know a secret. I know about the flower girl. What? Yasmin? Tell me now! <laughs> Why don't you release me from this cage first? It's a fair trade. I get the feeling I'm gonna regret this. Unless... I'm fine. Fed ill. Here you go. Huh? What am I supposed to do with it? I suggest starting with this icy tank over there. Thanks for the rescue. I hope we won't meet again. That was... surreal. Hey, don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Want to play hide and seek, huh? little one.
So that's why Kaspar kept you inside. Clever. By Ahura, those are pictures of Yasmin. What creative use of spell stones, the Ark Stone. He must have been planning this for months. Circled. Is that where he took Yasmin? Professor Azar! Shh, be quiet. Sabir's henchmen are looking for him. How did you manage to knock him out? The sedative powder. I used it against a runaway manticore that pounced on him. But he inhaled some as well. That's more of a reason for you not to be here when he wakes up. Professor, I believe Kaspar kidnapped my sister and is keeping her somewhere inside the old astronomy tower. The tower, you say? It's a dangerous place if you don't know how to move around. They're coming. The only way to the tower is through this window and with my leg. I'll do it, Professor. Make haste. I'll try to stall them for as long as I can. on Kaspar's sketch. If I want to get there, I have to figure out a way to fill those gaps. And pray not to fall. You were the only person I found here, Chief Inspector. Unconscious, I might add. I don't like you, Azar. If I find out you're covering for her, you're done. You two, don't just stand there like a pair of tired asses. Find the girl! mentioned in Kaspar's sketch. How am I gonna get up there?
Jasmine? Are you here? Huh? Duck! Caspar! It's not working! The construct is already formed! Interlopers must be ah! eradicated! Phew, you finally woke up. I was afraid you got battered too hard. Thanks for your concern, I guess. Any idea where we are? I was hoping you'd know. Melika, until the Construct turned against you, I was certain you were behind all this. That's funny. For the last couple of hours, you were my main suspect. So, what do we do now? Let's figure a way out of this cage first, then... We'll see what comes up. Mrs. Plume, who's a good girl? It seems we have a volunteer. Let's look for anything long enough to make a bridge between cages. I've got something. What? It's a start. <sighs> I can't... I've got you. Yuck. Good to go. Give it your best, girl. Anything broken? <laughs> I think I sprained my arm. No matter. Let's get out of this prison. Place is well maintained. Someone must have been here fairly recently. Ugh. I need to lie down for a moment. My arm is killing me. I'll take a look around. With a little luck, I'll find some medicine. This is a teacher's gown. Professor Azar? How could I be so blind? We're still in the Academy? In a way, this architecture reminds me of an old underground ruin I've read about in some dusty history tome. If that's what I think it is, we're inside the cliffs that support the Academy. It seems like it's been in use for at least a few months. And it's the perfect place to stay close but hide yourself from unwanted eyes. So, what's the deal with my sister, huh? Please, tell me you're not a weirdo. What? No! I mean, Yasmin and I, we're, we're kind of spending time together. Huh? Why wouldn't she say anything? I don't know. Maybe she was afraid? Listen, I am awful at this stuff. You don't say, lover boy. Funny. So when do you move to the Chuckle Hut? Don't get smart on me. Use that wit to find Yasmin. Then you and I will have a little chat. Right. 
But uh, you should talk to your sister instead of me. As soon as we find her, I mean. How's your arm? I'm not gonna lie, it aches like hell. I'm afraid it's broken. <sighs> Just stay still and don't make it worse. I'll do my best to fix it. I hope you don't mind me bonding with your moonling. Moonlings are sentient beings. It's his choice who he wants to hang out with. Besides, we had never hit it off. I guess you're gonna need to figure out another way to hide your stash. It'll be something equally convoluted, I assure you. Caspar? It's Professor Azar. He's behind the kidnapping. What? Are you sure? I found his gown, plans, papers signed by him. I can't believe I got fooled like this. He played us all. I was on the team responsible for preparing the amulets and still didn't notice anything. I mean, I felt there was something off. I should have known. Beating yourself up doesn't do anyone any good. We need to get out of here and find Yasmin. A list of names, which includes me. He never wanted Yasmin. He needed me. Oh, sis, why did we switch those amulets? Hidden wall, huh? Good catch. Another anti-magic sphere. It's handier than I thought. Wait. It's a moonling. But one I've never seen before. It's trapped underneath the dome. When night of the Twin Moons comes to fruition, and three born in its glory convene side by side, the veil of the moonlight refrains from her mission to grant you a visit in place where time died. Abstain from the path that ends in perdition. By the might of Moondial, your life be denied.
The Tsar wanted to get me, not my sister. If only we didn't swap those amulets! Mura knows what might happen then. I don't like that he's got Yasmin, but if his plan had succeeded, he would already be in Aramon. And now we have a chance to stop him. But still, we have to get out of here quickly and find the place mentioned in his notes. Right. Let's get to it. We could use the anti-magic sphere from the other room to prevent Azar from performing the ritual. But there's a barrier that needs two people to be turned off. This arm is killing me. First we have to deal with that. Here, I've got something for your arm. Oh, don't even make that face. Wow, that worked like a charm. Thank you. Now, let's get to it. Kaspar, push the button! Kaspar, push the button! Push the button! Hey, don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hide and seek, huh? That moonling can actually manipulate time! Let's hurry, I don't know how long it will last. Oh, that was close. Melika, there above the tree crowns, do you think... Of course. This plateau is perfectly exposed to the moonlight. Let's not tarry. We need to get across that gap first.
Fingers crossed. I'll go first. Hopefully it won't fall. I think I hear voices. Oh, no! I'm telling you, Azar Dahaka is planning to open the gate between worlds. Let me go! You're in big trouble, young man. The Chief Inspector will gladly listen to your delusions. Damn it, Kaspar. You should have waited. Now they've got you and the anti-magic sphere. How am I going to get him out? Bar. I'd better make sure no one sees me. We go. Wow, it's actually working. Let's hope that's enough to fool everyone. Caspar. Melica? How? Quiet there, or I'll personally drag you in front of the provost in the middle of the night. Apologies, Chief Inspector. It won't happen again. Listen, as soon as I free you, grab your bag and jump under my chameleon cloak. Get caught. We're done.
What? How did you get here? Don't let her escape! Melica, catch! Save your sister. What are you? Don't touch the bulb! We get here. I don't know what you just did, Caspar, but I won't let it go to waste. I think I'm close. Yasmin! She's unconscious. Hang in there, sis. think you could run away? Stupid girl. Think of the consequences. What is going on here? Absolutely nothing. I mean, that girl almost ruined my ritual, but luckily you appeared, dear Inspector. Oh, well, you're not going to need that sphere anymore. I knew there was something off about you. I will... No, you will not. You're coming with me, my dear Moonchild. won't wait any longer. Let the magic happen. <laughs> what? Aravan awaits. There's one more thing. A young soul like your sisters will be a perfect decoy should Deva appear. No! You'll pay for this! These bonds, Yasmin. Achoo. Who's Batak? Is that you? Yes, yes, it is me. I was so close to finally returning to Araman after all those years. That damned wizard. Batak, he did something to my sister. I have to help her. Soul draining, a forbidden art. She needs her essence back quickly if she's to survive. No, I have to find Azar. Please, release me from these bonds, and I'll get you back to your world, I promise. Well, you did free me from captivity before, so what do you need me to do? See that crystal atop the wall? Since Dark Fog avoids it, maybe it'll break my bindings. I'm on it. Hatch!
worked! Thanks, Spotak! <coughs> Malika. Chief Inspector? You damned fool! Why didn't you listen? You're right. But what's done is done. We have to act quickly to stop Azar. And save your sister. To do that, we have to rip the veil while the moons are full. And I, I have no idea how... There's an artifact in my mantle. That could be of help. Quickly, Malika. <coughs> the cube barely holds it all together. It should have been me to chase after Azar. But you're coming, Batak? Of course, of course. After all these years? I'll be back, Yasmin. I promise. This is incredible. The moons are so bright here. And we landed on both feet. Please appreciate that. There's something going on in the Vale ahead. It must be Azar. I have to get there quickly. Oh, oh, wait! Deva, it's a soul leader. It might be blind, but it'll surely catch the scent of a nearby soul. So, what should we do? Well, those beasts get easily confused by swarms of soul flies. Just like those. This is incredible. The moons are so bright here.
Unless we somehow manage to rotate those clock hands. Let's give it a try. Batak! Something is wedged between two cogwheels. Well, that's too thin for me. I'll go. What's with the sudden change of heart? I don't know, but I feel I should help. Besides, there might be shinies inside. Here we go! Close. Come out! You go. I need to find some other way out. I'll be right behind you. Just... be careful down there, little one. Azar! It's Professor Azar. Let's keep it civil. You really shouldn't follow me, Melika. I can't let you spoil my greatest moment, but I'll allow you to witness it. Stop! Stop. Blasted barrier! Maybe there's a different path through the cavern behind that statue. <coughs> it's... It's not a statue! See no passage.
have earned the gratitude of Lamasu Outlander. Thank you. Even though your presence in Ariman is undesirable, there's a part you must play. A czar. This scholar outsmarted me, and through the Moondial, he's trying to alter the course of your world's history. His curse took a heavy toll on me. Outlander, it's up to you to stop him. Just point me in the right direction. I'll do my best. There's a hidden pathway in the cave. I can open it for you. Take the third moon and do what must be done. Third moon? What do you mean? If you have questions, ask quickly. Time is not on our side. What do you mean by alter the course of my world's history? What I mean is that the scholar will put in danger himself, anyone he ever met, and the whole Aramon. Through the moon dial, he can search for his own life thread and bend it to his will. But even a tiny change can have calamitous consequences. Outlanders are not welcome in Aramon. But this invasion is just a show of lunacy. He must be dealt with before it's too late. What is a moon dial? The moon dial is one of a few devices that are older than this world. All the life threads intertwine in it, leaving a mark, a recorded history. But every so often, the moon dial can grant a glimpse into a life thread's future. It's a powerful artifact that can be extremely dangerous in the wrong hands. The control must be maintained. You mentioned the Third Moon. We call it the Daughter of Ahura and Mainyu. But really, it's a powerful artifact born of both their powers. It can absorb nearly all magical energy around it until it's sated. Then, it goes back to the night sky and gives that power back to its original owners. Everything must exist in equilibrium. Even magic. Lamasu, there's someone I've met recently that claims to come from Ariman. Do you know Batak? Batak? After all those years? Are you certain? Where is he? He's supposed to be here by now. We helped each other once or twice on our way here. Batak was a dear friend of mine. But it's been almost 26 years since I last saw him. I sent him on a mission from which he never returned. I was afraid he... I'm glad I was wrong. He seemed very excited to return to Ariman. I'm sure he'll show up soon. Batak. <laughs> Thank you, Outlander. You seem unwell. Are you sure you don't need immediate help? Outlander, there's no time for it. I'll get better once that scholar is dealt with. Then, and only then, I'll heal. Both my body and my pride. Lamasu, there's someone I've met recently that claims to come from Ariman. Come here, Outlander.
It reminds me of stargazing machinery. Strange. There's no exit. Azar, you must end this madness! No. I waited too long for this. I can't allow anyone to stop me now. This is necessary. I cannot allow you to do this! Poor blind child. I will never back down. Behold the true power of time. Never hurt anyone else. It's Yasmin's soul. Now I just need to find a way back. Child's play. Oh no, Davos! The cavalry's here. Stay where you are, Mrs. Lady. Here! Grab my hand! 
Melika, your sister's life is fading. I've got it. Step aside. With her soul returned, Yasmin woke up right away. A grin on her face was enough for everyone to finally breathe a sigh of relief. A tear running down Melika's cheek, as well as Caspar's joyful tap dancing, made her wonder what she had slept through. Due to the lack of an official statement, rumors of last night's events quickly spread throughout the Academy. The immediate departure of Inspector Sabir's forces along with the inexplicable absence of Professor Azar de Haka, left many students wondering what really happened. Nevertheless, academic life quickly returned to normal. Despite her usual composure, Lamassu was happy to see Batak again after all these years. Fully aware of his tendency to exaggerate, she took most of his adventures with a grain of salt, except the one that sent chills down her spine. But that's a tale for another night.